Okay, we're gonna be able to see it right now. Ooh. This is kind of what we expected to a certain degree. Hashtag SW or hashtag KS, the gates are open. Ooh, two Holy Paladins in this game. This is going to be very interesting to see. Actually, he's a Valido's playing retribution. Never mind. One Holy Paladin in this game. That's going to be born good. We'll have to see how this one plays out. Uh, one of the things about Holy Paladins is they're actually very susceptible to the Rat Paladin to get hit the hammer. Just as often, they get bursted down uh, by that Rat Paladin quite easily. All right, SSDS already securing a freezing trap onto Metaphors. Look for that little blue icon whenever the healer is in that. He's not able to do anything to help his team, and it's more likely that his partners are going to be in danger. So every time he lands that, it's an important moment for them to get a lot of damage out. They managed to force Barkskin from Pack Rats. He's not going to have that defensive moving forward. Boom Surge playing that tank trinket as we already alluded to at the start of the tournament. Here's a swap, though, onto Born Good as Valido is leading the charge, dishing out a ton of pain. Born Good ducking for cover back behind the pillar. Pack Rats repositioning. Valido is overextended, though, and they've switched their attention to him. Yep, Born Good manages to weather the storm, but one of the things about Holy Paladins in this matchup is they are not going to be able to outmana uh, a Resto Shaman. So Super Whales, they're going to have to play very aggressive if they want to close up this game. You can see Metaphor is now into the full trap. A little bit of damage on Pack Rats, but it seems like he's going to be able to tank through this quite easily, and once Metaphors get out of that crowd control, Pack Rats should get topped off. Yeah, that Earthen Shield totem was placed right before the crowd control chain and allowed Pack Rat to soak all of the damage basically for free. Nice defensive plays from KS Mana looking completely in favor of them as well. If they keep this defensive play up, they can definitely attrition this team of the Jungle Cleave. The whole Paladin is not going to have that long mana bar as Resto Shamans and Resto Druids. In the meantime, though, Pack Rat's finally getting under pressure. Another Freezing Trap secured as they lead the charge. Everybody in crowd control, Pack Rat in a 3 on one. Now they're switching to Valido, trying to spread their pressure out. Valido also playing that tanking Absorb Trinket, so unlikely to go down at this point, but getting that huge Absorb out of the way is definitely a small victory for the Super Royals. Yeah, there's no question about it. Valido still under fire. Metaphor's not in any crowd control, though. Should be able to top him off. Born Good's mana already at around 60%, so not necessarily the best situation for Super Whales. Potentially, he could be getting some drinks in this matchup, but it's just so difficult. The Moonkin can easily stop that uh, with the Starfall. You know, Metaphor's can push in and drop some totems to shut that down as well. So KS in a good position if the game plays out long. And Borgard's actually running Avenging Crusader, and that allows him to attack and heal by attacking. But it costs a huge amount of mana. He can only do it a couple times in a game before he completely taps himself. We see a fe Freezing Trap secured, so this is Super Whale's moment to get aggressive. Packrat denies it with a Cyclone on Boom Surge that stops all damage output. Great timing by him, as well as the Earthen Shield Totem placement. A uh, good defensive play there by KS, negating that entire setup. Born good looked like he was trying to get a drink, but Starfall put down by Packrat denies it, and it's very important for Chaos to make sure that Born Good never gets to sit down for a drink. A solar Beam used, interrupting Born Good. He's not able to save his teammates at this point, so Boom Surge is opting to retreat back behind the pillar. SSDS disengaging away as well, giving Born Good time to recover. Valido now getting punished for overextending. I really like the swaps from the Super Whales between Packrat and Valido. If they keep this up, they're going to pull big cooldowns. Oh, full trap on Metaphors. Valido could be in some trouble now. The Metaphors actually trinkets out to save that bubble from Valido, but keep in mind, Retribution Paladins, they don't have that automatic bubble anymore, so it can be very scary when you're on low HP. You don't have that same sort of safety net that you had in Legion. You have to activate that ability by yourself, and which means you have to make those crucial decisions. All right, that was a Spirit Link totem, so three-minute cooldown, very powerful defensive gone for the team of KS. Super Whales are squeaking ahead on cooldowns, but falling more so behind on mana, and I'm not sure if Born Good is ever going to get to sneak away for a drink. It looks like they're opting to just play aggressive, stunning up metaphors, looking for more crowd control, but a Cyclone on SS SDS broke the crowd control chain. Packrat Cyclones, these past two crowd control attempts have been perfect, basically, denying any freezing traps from SSDS or allowing them to easily soak through it. It looks like the Super Whales are now forced to retreat away and attack Valido, but stacking up as three members against a Red Paladin and a Boomkin, that's a lot of cleave damage your entire team is going to have to take, and Borngood doesn't have a lot of mana to keep healing through it. Yeah, he doesn't. He's running out of mana and running out of mana fast. We aren't even in dampening yet, already under 50%. You can see Metaphor's mana doing quite well, quite healthy. Lido's going to be trinketing out of that hammer of justice. It looks like Metaphor is trying to avoid the trap here as SSDS charges in. He gets an interrupt on Metaphor's, but Packrack is going to shut that down with a nice time. Cyclone, Boom Surge does have that incarnation up, so Super Whales is trying to get aggressive, but really just can't find the pressure that they need. All right, full freezing tap, trap secured, oh, and Lido oh, is oh. in trouble. Divine Shield on 10% health. That 
that was a critical moment. Metaphors with no trinket to get out of Freezing Trap. Bolito with no trinket to get out of Stun. And Packrats didn't have any Cyclone Diminishing Return. So it was a big opening for the Super Whales to force that massive defensive. Divine Shield, a five minute cooldown. You see that below Bolito's health. The Spirit Link Totem not available for a minute and 20 on Metaphors. Those are the two big cooldowns that they need to survive. The next Freezing Trap could close the game out if they can get it in this 10 second window. SSTS moving across the map. Drops down the Snare Trap. It gets cloned up. They go for the Stun. If they get the trap in this next four seconds, they just can't. They're getting shut down by Pack Rats. SSCS is trying to get in there and land it. Grounding Totem was placed, but they land the trap. They could easily force a trinket. This is a critical moment. Yes, they force a trinket now for Metaphors. The next freezing trap on Metaphors could easily be Valido's life. Pack Rat needs to play as the MVP with Cyclones to keep his team going at that point. Yep, both Boom Surge and SSDS do not have a trinket, so if Pack Rats can shut it down, like you said, uh, he can ultimately keep his team alive. Another thing that happened in that exchange is Valido not only used his bubble, but he also used the Blessing of Protection on Pack Rat, so that's another Retribution Pallet on State net that isn't going to be available. Valido basically doesn't have anything left. Like you said, Metaphors has no trinket. This is not looking bad for Super Whales at all. We're about 5% dampening. Hammer of Justice over on the pack up. Immediately gets dispelled, so that cross you see, um, not oh, nice. super effective for Super Whales. Valido just stood on top of Metaphors and was able to eat the crowd control. That was really good positioning by him. That setup was easily the end of the game if he didn't eat that freezing trap. Good defensive position from Valido. Now they can get aggressive and in their face. They're looking to force the issue towards Borngood, but maybe they can't over Extend. The pressure is forcing Valido back. He can't stay in their face. SSDS getting cloned up as Packrat's trying to pause the damage. Buy time for Metaphors to pick Valido back up. Metaphors caught into a stun. This nice sanctuary. They could potentially grounding totem. We have to wait and see if Metaphors can time it here. Grounding totem was used. SSDS baits out the grounding totem. He's going to kill that. Land the freezing trap. Good play from SSDS, but now they need damage. Packrat's is doing his best to slow it down. Do they have enough damage here? It doesn't appear to be the case, and this is looking better and better for KS as we move into dampening and Born Goods Mana gets lower and lower. Yeah, Metaphors had a really good earthen shield totem there to keep pa or keep Valido alive in that exchange, but Valido's still getting low, taking quite a bit of damage. Incarnation can be available for Boom Surge in around 30. 30 seconds, that's an opportunity for them to take Valido down. Like you said, Sid, Bubble is such a long cooldown for the Rep Pally that forcing it out is so huge, but a big swap over on a Born Good in the meantime. He's playing Relentless, keep in mind, so it doesn't have that trinket available. That's the, the little magic damage reduction. He used that as well, but he's still low, low on mana. Everyone from Super Whales is rotting down. All right, they forced the Veiled Eye Absorb from Valido. That was one of his last lines of defense, but Born Good, look at his team. They're all at 50%. We're at 14% dampening. Metaphors is almost full mana. He's got Spearling Totem again. At this point, this is KS's game to throw. All they have to do is just trade cooldowns, push in on top of Born Good, and I think they're going to push him over. He's almost completely tapped that mana. How much longer can he keep this up? Can they pull off a miracle at this point? Because that's what they need. They stun up Pack Rats. They burst him down. SSDS grappling hooks over. He's looking for a trap. Will he be able to nail it? They bait out the grounding totem, and they do nail it. These traps from SSDS have been key. If there's one thing that will carry this game, it's going to be SSDS's traps. Yeah, he's been very patient with it, landing it on Metaphors over and over and over. Packrat's taking a little bit of damage, but KS, they sort of weathered the storm of the incarnation from Boom Surge and managed to survive. Valido's still on 50%, though. Metaphors popping the Ascendants, trying to top off this team so they can get aggressive and finish up this game. Board good mana is not looking good, already down to around 15%. He's been playing very conservative these last few minutes, but still just running out, and eventually that's a great win condition for KS. The next Avenging Crusader, which he has available, is probably going to tap the rest of his mana, so if they don't get a kill, with it, Born Goods is on the ropes. Every time he goes in the middle of the map to get something started, Packrat starts attacking him, and Born Good has to run away. It's been good swaps from Packrat onto Born Good and just spreading the pressure. We see a double stun, but instant dispel from Born Good. Nice job. Winsor is going to retreat away. Looks like SSDS is also forced back. They're a little bit reluctant to push out this deep into dampening with so little mana. The Super Whales only have a few more maneuvers left before they're going to be completely tapped out. We see a preemptive Earthen Shield Totem. They have to wait for that defense to fade before they go for crowd control. Packrat's wasting Cyclone DRs. He's using this before the Freezing Trap was landed. Likely, Metaphors will have to trinket Freezing Trap here. If he's not careful, a potentially huge amount of burst is available for Valido. A couple more seconds remaining on that Freezing Trap, but able to sit through it now into the Hammer of Justice. Sanctuary, Trinket, and Spirit Link going to be used. Chaos not throwing this game away. Born Good taps the rest of his mana on that push, and they don't get the kill. They are on the ropes now. Yeah, Bolito has that bubble coming up in 25 seconds as well, so if they can just hold on a little bit longer, this is looking so good for KS. Born Good, like you said, out of mana. What is he going to do to keep his team alive? So far, KS really doesn't have too much pressure. There's a bash over on the Boom Surge. Packrat's been doing such a good job in this game with the control. Cyclone now on SSDS. Good amount of damage over on the Boom Surge. 
Yeah, he gets pressure down a bit. Borngood should be able to heal through it, but that's his last little bit of mana. Oh, another freezing trap sniped out. Divine Shield just came off cooldown. Let's see if Valido chokes. Is he going to be able to trade it out? There's a lot of damage incoming at the moment. Trades out Divine Shield and stays alive. It's so unfortunate for the Super Whales that a five-minute cooldown had time to cycle back available for him to survive that setup. If he didn't have it, he was dead there. Now it's out of the way, but Incarn's available for Packrats. He's going to pull the trigger. Everybody on the team of Super Whales is about to start rotting down as long as Packrats can get in there. Is he going to be able to get in line of sight and do enough damage is the question. This, this cooldown basically going wasted. He's not getting anything done with the Celestial Alignment. Now they're making a push. They land another Freezing Trap. Valido is likely on Forbearance. He's not able to use Blessing and Protection. If they can sneak in enough damage, maybe they can take Valido down. Uh -oh. SST is trying to res his pet. Born Good caught into a stun. Fortunately for him, it was diminishing return. A big mistake there by Valido. That allows Born Good to escape to safety behind the pillar. He's still got Divine Shield, but I mean, they're basically cowering at this point with absolutely zero mana. Metaphor is basically at 90%. It, we see Boom Surge with Incarn. This is the last push. They need to get a kill here and now, but there's a blessing of protection. Will Valido trade it out? He's trying to tank it. He's caught in a stun. He can't use it. Dipping low. Catching a word of glory potentially. There's the blessing of protection. And they cannot cut through that, I do not think, to kill Valido. If Borngood can somehow pull this off for another two traps, I think they can take it, but that's a very tall order to make. Yeah, that's going to take a miracle. Everyone from Super Wales is rotting down. 37% dampening. Hammer of Justice on Boom Surge. Cyclone on Borngood. Borngood bubbles out of that, doing everything Thing he can to keep his team alive, but the full cyclone over on the Boom Surge is going to deny any incoming heals from Borngood. Lido in the meantime still taking quite a bit of damage. Metaphors, he has a trinket, no spear link though. There's a hammer of justice on Metaphors, he gets sanked out by Valido. He's going to be free. Oh! Oh! Awesome heals, but a big amount of burst onto Valido once again. Metaphors has to trinket out of the trap, doing everything he can to keep Valido alive. Good job by Packrat, slowing down some of the damage from Super Wells with those Cyclones. Packrat wasting his Celestial alignment earlier. He could have killed the entire team in the middle of the map like this if he was more patient with the cooldown. Now Valido has to carry the team. He's got Avenging Wrath. If he doesn't get a kill with this, I think Metaphor's team is actually going to lose. If Morgan can keep him alive, he's got Avenging Crusader. He doesn't have mana to press it. He's got into a stun. SSTS is trying to lead the charge, jumping over, baiting the grounding totem. If he can land this trap, Valido will go down, but the, he's got Avenging Wrath up. Valido's doing a ton of damage back in their face. Boom Surge getting cloned up. They don't get the freezing trap. They needed it there to get the kill. Valido's trying to finish the job, pushing in with this Avenging Wrath. He's got a huge increase of damage. He needs to end the game with this. They've got everyone below half. Absolutely no mana. Cloning people at low health. Silence is onto the healer. Everybody on the Super Whales is basically dead at this point. Will they be able to pull it off? I do not think so at this point. It's looking so grim. Boom Surge got this done. A clone on board. Good. As Chaos finally closes it out at 43% dampening. A valiant fight, but unfortunately SSDS is not able to secure the final trap to have the only plays off the back of those traps, man. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be very important that he can slow down some of those incoming heals from Metaphor. That's really where they got all of their pressure in the last game, so I expect it to be similar in this one. Now, I, I'm going to be looking at Packrat too, Sid. I, I really do want to see if he ends up switching to Veil to Eye as all, or if he can be a little bit greedy and not run this tank trinket. Honestly, I would love to see Super Wells. They're playing this aggressive comp that just wants to win the game fast. And I, I just feel like it's a half measure if you're playing triple tank trinket on a comp like that. It's the same thing I was talking about with the RMP of making a movie yesterday. I really think that these guys should just play triple red button and just try to force the, the tank trinket proc and then triple red button, blow someone off, uh, up, sorry, uh, 50 to 0. Oh. I think that that is something to keep an eye on, too, is like when we're actually going to see someone go all in on the offensive strategy. You saw that Basilisk getting cloned up here. I don't think we've seen a Basilisk yet so far in the tournament. So then for anyone who hasn't been paying attention to what's going on with BM Hunters, this is a pretty important ability to be keeping our eyes on. Yeah, there's no question about it. Keep like, Think about like a never-ending Terminator, basically. Just gets dropped out on the map. It's going to chase you down relentlessly. <laughs> there's not too much you can do about it. The only thing you can do is try to kite it. If you ignore it or you aren't paying attention to it and you get hit too many times, it is an extended amount of damage for the Beast Mastery Hunter. It becomes very scary very quickly. It's like one of those things, you know, and you, you have those conversations at sleepovers, like late at night of those hypothetical scenarios. It's like, there's a snail somewhere on the earth like you can have a million dollars a snail summons somewhere on the earth and it's just slowly moving towards you if it touches you you die you take the million dollars it's pretty much what the basilisk is scariest <laughs> except you, snail in except, the world yeah, except you, you don't get a million dollars you just tank your rating if you get hit by it <laughs> we're gonna see ssds get stunned up for a second i'm keeping my eye on those traps though sid i mean we saw early in this game chaos actually went after born good now in the first hammer of justice and even born good is running the tank trickets so he gets agility strength that doesn't 
do much for him on Holy Paladin, but that shield allowed him to sit through the stun quite comfortably, and that's likely why he's also playing relentless, so he can't get swapped to. All the crowd control on him is slightly reduced, and I think it's a smart decision. Uh, we see Boom Surge trying to build some momentum as Pack Rat did overextend there, but immediately retreats back to his healer. Born Good again getting swapped to, and I'm wondering if he is going to be the kill target before dampening for KS. They've been putting a lot of attention on him. Yeah, Born Good's in the open for too long, and definitely a good target. Like I was talking about, Valido can land those consistent Hammer of Justice. There's not really too much Born Good could do. He is playing human, so he got out of that first one. The next one could be a lot more scary, and they could easily force out the bubble if they have the damage for it. All right, we see Boom Surge getting cloned up to nine. Any sort of pressure as the Super Whales are just trying to save their mana for a later game kill. It's very unlikely that they can get too much going before dampening, but it's important about a minute before it or 30 seconds before it that they start forcing cooldown so that when it's ramped up, that's a very scary situation for the other team to deal with. We see the Basilisk, as Rich pointed out, just marching its way towards Valido and trying to chomp him. He's a sad Basilisk, moving really slowly and now disappearing from the arena. But if that Basilisk does get to connect for any amount of time, it's a very powerful cooldown. We see a setup from the Super Whales as Metaphors is trapped up. They're trying to gun down for Pack Rats, but he's just tanking it out in bear form. Valido off healing him. Again, Chaos playing kind of a triple healer setup, and that seems to be the meta. Tank trinkets, multiple hybrids, everybody heal each other, wait until dampening, try and burst somebody down. Now Chaos looking to reverse it with a stun on Born Good and pressure on Boom Surge, but he's just going to duck behind the pillar and start healing himself as well. Soaking up interrupts that Born Good now doesn't need to deal with. This is great for Boom Surge in this position. I'm curious if they can really get anything done. They've got Incarn in 10 seconds. They need to force something over. And even with all of that, even with what KS is playing, they still in this map have so much more pressure than we saw last time around. I know that a lot of that pressure isn't going to equate to much, but it does seem like they firmly do have control of this matchup even a little bit early on. Well, I think their big reason for that is because uh, all of a sudden, Super Wets are turning all their attention to Pack Rat, and actually, I don't think Valido was the wrong target choice. If you made a spec change here on SSDS, you should stick with the same target choice that you had in the previous match. There's no point changing your spec and changing your target, uh, because I don't think the target choice was necessarily bad. The Boonkin is going to have a lot shorter defensive cooldowns to rotate compared to that five-minute cooldown bubble uh, that Valido is going to be working with. Uh, has he, has Pack Rat even have, had to press, press Renewal yet? I don't even think I've seen him press renewal. So it's, it's like one of those things. Yes, he doesn't have the tank trinket, but uh, we talked about this earlier, too, for anyone who didn't tune in. The meta is slower not only because of this tank trinket. It is slower in general. And Packrat, he's going to be able to go into bear form. He is going to be able to trade out these short cooldowns. And he hasn't even been pressured enough to use renewal. A little bit of pressure coming in right now. We can see SSDS is going into full offensive mode here. What is Packrat going to be trading out? It doesn't seem like he's going to be trading out really anything. And it's like Sid said, the meta really is that triple healer kind of setup. Packrat and Valido, they have a lot of off healing to support each other. So. They go on Pack Rat and crowd control metaphors. There's Valido. He can just spam out the flash of lights. It's a lot of healing to keep Pack Rat stable. So he doesn't have to use the Bark Skin or the Renewal. But now we actually have Pack Rat using his Trinket, using his Bark Skin. And that's a potential opening for Super Whales as the game moves forward. That was really smart by SSDS. He, so he has two types of traps. He has one trap that slows and then one trap that freezes. He threw the slowing trap at metaphors to make him think it was the freezing one. That baited metaphors to use Grounding Totem. Then when that was out of the way, he used his Freezing Trap instead to land it. Because he always has to do a grounding totem. He doesn't want to get his freezing trap ground. So it was a smart play by SSDS, a good mind game. It's getting them a little bit ahead here. They finally got bark skin at least from Packrat, but still not even forcing renewal. Born Good, on the other hand, is doing a great job with his mana. This game is much higher. He's not playing the Avenging Crusader, so he's not going to be tapping himself as quickly, but they lose damage. I'm curious to see how that change plays out deep into dampening. Zico, I, I just feel like it's a pretty bad omen for the Super Whales when their kill target hasn't had to press renewal and they're already 7% into dampening. Yeah, and the biggest reason for that, honestly, is because Valido is just free to do whatever he wants at this point. When you're going onto Valido and you cross kick uh, Pack Rat, like we saw in the replay, then you can shut down some of that healing. But when you go on Pack Rat, Valido is going to be using those instant uh, holy words uh, to top off Pack Rat, and there's no, you don't utilize your interrupts that way. All right, we see a preemptive earthen shield totem on this freezing trap. So Metaphor is getting ahead on the mind game for this crowd control. And pack rats can just safely sit in this totem, protecting him and absorbing a lot of damage. The mind game between the hunter and the shaman is definitely a difficult one to predict. And SSDS sometimes get ahead on it. Metaphor sometimes gets ahead on it. And it's if, if it's traded one for one like that, nothing really happens. But all of a sudden, a huge amount of damage with that basilisk. Pack rats is basically just giving it a hug, now deciding to jump away from that deadly cooldown. And he did have 
have to trade Barkskin at least for it, but as Eco has been pointing out, I really think Valido is the better target ultimately. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see how it plays out as they've basically dedicated all of their time to pack rats and forcing Divine Shield. Unless they get it within the next minute, it's gonna be very difficult to go through all Valido's cooldowns. Yeah, pack rats still low though. Interrupt over on the metaphors. Has to play a little bit of defense now. You can see Boom Surge chasing him down. Nice bash coming in from Pack Rat. And maybe they just want to go on Pack Rat to slow down some of that damage and extend the game. Maybe they feel like with the Beastmaster respect, they can eventually get that bubble later on. There's no point in getting too early on in the game. So it could be a late game strategy from Super Wells, but I, I feel like this composition doesn't have the advantage of late game, especially with the Holy Paladin. Oh, I mean, Borgard's still doing a really good job on his man. He needs to be careful here with SSDS getting low. That was Pack Rat's biggest damage cooldowns they've managed to retreat away but now Valido is all over them as well they force his tank trinket they get a freezing trap no earthen shield for that and it looks like they're actually switching targets to Valido they managed to pull eye for an eye so they got at least one cooldown from him and then maybe they are going to switch targets here into dampening maybe they attack the boomkin early on to stop cyclones try and see if they could get a kill on him now into dampening they might switch again we see born good caught into a stun dip below half the can't help him too much he's in a cyclone at the moment uh, and Borgard's just doing his best to stall it out and maintain his mana as high as he can for his team and they'll get this freezing trap set up. So now they need to start working through the trinkets. With dampening in the game, that triple healer kind of just heal each other when they're crowd controlled become much less effective and they will force critical cooldown. So nice freezing trap secured here. They force Barkskin. Another freezing trap needs to get the trinket. Another freezing trap needs to get a blessing of protection. And then at that point, Packrats is a viable target to kill. Now they've got one of the three. They're switching to Valido in the downtime, trying to maybe make an opening there as well and they're trying to get as many paths to victory as possible. Ooh, Valido still low. Interrupt on Metaphors. Could they get the bubble? Doesn't look like it. I mean, that was Boom Surge's three-minute timer, the incarnation, putting out a lot of extra damage, but unfortunately only getting that bar skin from Pack Rat. You can see Valido still has basically all his defensive tools left, as well as Metaphor. It's actually going to be popping the Ascendants to top off his team so they can continue this assault. Basilisk on the field. Are they going to take any extra damage from that? And Valido and Pack Rat have been doing a good job avoiding that extra damage as much as possible. Boom Surge, unfortunately, having to use that Survival Instincts as he takes a whole bunch of damage with the full hammer of justice onto Born Good into oh. the Cyclone. Valido, in the meantime, taking quite a bit of damage. Actually, the Divine Shield was forced out. Very nicely done by Super Whales. Boom Surge just opened his mouth and chomped Valido's health bar. Half of it gone. Now Pack Rat's getting swapped to it, and Super Whales have suddenly just turned on the pressure. I guess they say, okay, Dampening's in. Your triple healer isn't as tanky anymore. Now we're going to start making our move. Nice freezing trap. They need to force a trinket or blessing of protection with this. They get the trinket. Perfect setup there from the Super Whales. The next one needs to get a blessing Valido. of protection. They've been switching targets as well to try and open up as many paths. They've been playing it perfectly. They've maintained their mana into the late game. Super Whales can definitely take this despite the disadvantage. Yeah, you know, SSDS has been doing an excellent job with his interrupts on Metaphor in this game. That's one of the advantages of the BM Hunters. You have that ranged interrupt once again. So that's been a big tool for them to get additional damage. Boom Surge caught into the Hammer of Justice. Morgan trying to keep him alive. Throwing out some massive heals onto him. There's a cycle, though, nicely done by Packrat. If they can get any CC on Born Good, they could be able to force massive cooldowns. Avenging or Avenging Wrath is going to be used by Born Good to empower his healing. He needs to top Boom Surge off, but Packrat's just making it so difficult with these cyclones. Finally, it gets a moment to breathe. Top off Boom Surge. You can see he's retreated behind the pillar. Finally, trying to push in and get some more damage rolling on Valido. All right, Packrat, we've seen this moment in the first game where he wasted his Celestial Alignment. Now he's got the entire team in the open. This will be a perfect opportunity to pop that cooldown, get a ton of damage out, but they're in Crowd control. Pack rats trinkets out to try and support. This is the freezing trap that needs to force a blessing of protection if they're going to get a kill and they don't have enough damage to get it. That's going to put them one cooldown behind and the mana is not going to last forever for Born Good. There's the celestial alignment. Pack rats needs to get something with this. He's desperately trying to attack Boom Surge and at least force a cooldown. But whoa! whoa just the the basil is needed. The just basil is needed. <laughs> Ferocious bite is such whoa, whoa, wait, a. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, he still got the bubble. Uh, oh, Born Good. Uh, don't get don't, don't throw it away. <laughs> the Basilisk is good job by the Basilisk, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a way to close that one out. I had completely counted them out. I mean, we were basically, and it just allows that opener to be somewhat of a wash on the side of KS, which is, which is all fine and dandy. What if we see Born Good, though, able to heal through that and we see maybe Triple Red Button actually get played? Is that ever going to be something that we see just completely swap to to try to catch KS off guard, go for an all-in win strategy, Zico? I mean, if personally, if I was competing, I mean, I'm not, but if I were, I would try to set up a strategy like that where we try to land the trap onto Metaphors, do a setup onto the Lido and proc that Veil die, and then on the next trap, we would just do a 3, 2, 1, and then everyone presses their Red Button, 
when he's on about 50% and just try to one-shot him before he can even react because it is off global cooldown and it hits for about 20,000 on each person who has it. So I think it's a viable strategy, but I don't think anyone has really experimented with it enough to, to bring it out in the tournament yet. It's an interesting decision from Born Good talent-wise this game. So he's running Repentance, which is a eight-second casted crowd control. And I think they've realized with three healers basically on the other team, the only way to deal with it is high dampening that reduces the healing's effectiveness or crowd control. So with Repentance, they can cast that on Pack Red at the same time as a trap has landed on Metaphors, take two healers out of the game, then stun the target they're attacking and take the third healer out of the game and in that window burst somebody down. So I like that adaptation from Born Good. Can you actually Repentance uh, Munkin in Munkin form? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then it's a really good adaptation. I agree with that. Yeah, rep is something that we don't see very often come into play, but when we do see people pull it off, it can just be that thing. The moment that it works, it works all the way. It can very quickly turn into a kill. Yeah, and that's one of the things as well. When Metaphors is in a trap, there's really no one to interrupt Born Good unless Pack Rats saves his beam for that, and then he kind of loses that offensive capability. He's using it defensively instead, which Super Whales, I'm sure, is completely fine with. Right, we see some burst damage on Valido, but just tanking it out. He's got both members on his team backing him up, soaking that hit. Earthen Shield Totem traded out. Boom Surge actually not playing Incar in this game, so he's going for more sustained damage, which is a little bit peculiar since they do these kind of hit and runs and freezing traps. I'm not sure if it's the best move, but they're also switching targets, so it's going to benefit the switching. Uh, we see a freezing trap. We'll see if the Repentance gets casted. Born Good's moving up. He's going for the Repentance. Gets Solar Beamed on it, so now he's forced to use that to break up the crowd control rather than aggressively, so Born Good doesn't need to deal with that threat moving forward, but it does stop their crowd control attempt here. Yeah, it definitely stops their offense, but now they can just free heal. And I, like you said, Super Whale seems to just realize, you know, with all the off healing that KS has, they just need to play the long game in the situation. Normally, you see the jungle play very, very aggressive, but it can also be kind of difficult to push that jungle over if they are playing this defensive. Lido running behind the pillar. Boom Surge gets a lot of pressure on him, and all of a sudden, Metaphors is falling behind. Now he's into the full main. You got the Repentance on Pack Rat. Nice 3v1 setup. Lido forced to trink it out. Should be able to keep himself alive, but that was really nicely done by Super Whale. I mean, this is just such a different strategy coming out there, and it, it is really going to be almost similar to what you see from Rogue Mage in, in a certain way. They really are going to be going for just big setups, cross crowd control, and trying to pull things away. Now, it is still going to be a struggle, though. We see them completely get to have free reign on Valido. They get that rep out. They get Metaphors all CC'd up as well. What did they get? They got Veiled Eye. I mean, the thing is, is that's nice. They got that off the table for two minutes, but they still got bops. They still got bubbles that they need need to be tearing on through it's definitely an uphill battle for the super whales yeah and i mean that's the thing here on the first setup they get that uh, solar beam out of the way and then on the second setup they don't have the solar beam and they get the veil die but now they're gonna have the solar beam and right there there it is and they're not gonna force too much out of uh, the lead because of that and now they need another setup where they can get that repentance onto uh, uh, pack rat as well as that trap onto metaphors and that's where they most likely will force out that trinket spirit link from metaphors and just having that veil die in that rotation it comes in so many times and it just delays getting that bubble from Valido and it's gonna be up to Valido if he keeps overextending like he did uh, right there with the veil die proc that's when they can really get that big bubble cooldown out of the way that could be why Boom Surge has opted to not run Incarnation. So his sustained damage throughout the whole game is higher, but his burst damage is lower, so that hopefully in Dampening he can proc the Veiled Eye with limited crowd control. Then when they get their long chain, he's still got sustained damage without having to use Incarn, obviously, because he doesn't have it. Uh, we're just, I think we're pretty close to Dampening at this point, so it will become more difficult for KS to get uh, these off heals off on their team. I will say one thing, KS plays phenomenal defense, but they've got zero offense. I, I've never seen them make an offensive push or I was like, okay, they know what they're doing on attack. It, it just seems like they have no idea how to end the game. Uh, they yeah. can keep it going on forever, but they don't know how to end it. And unless they figure that out, I think Super Wells might walk away with this. Born Good's doing a phenomenal job on mana this time. That was what was interesting about map number two. When we were actually in the last map, we saw KS get much more offensive pressure right at the beginning. We saw Pack Rat getting decent amount of setup potential. Valido was really able to chunk the other players. Right now, obviously, a little bit of pressure on Boom Surge, but look at Born Good's mana. We keep saying that Born Good is going to just run out of mana very fast, and here he can just play really Veiled greedy. Eye. He can pay safe. Veiled Eye is going to be proc. Valido now popping his offensive cooldowns, trying to go on the hunt. They pulled the Veiled Eye, but I mean, Metaphors has everything in his utility still. He's got a hundred percent mana, and we're already into three percent dampening. It's just, if the Veiled Eye there didn't exist, 
Metaphor's got trapped on his ascendance, and I guarantee you that he would have to oh. drink it there. A little bit of pressure on Valido right now, but like we've been saying, Chaos playing defense very well. Packrats trinketing out to sort of rotate those defenses and help Valido when he was in a little bit of trouble. Nice little trap eat there by Valido, getting metaphors out of that crowd control. Nicely done by him. It's something Chaos can consistently implement in this matchup if Super Whales doesn't get the cross CC that they need. Metaphors getting interrupted now, but still, it doesn't look like Super Whales has the damage. Born good SSDS once again. They're going to be retreating. They know they need a little bit more damping to push through those defenses. Yeah, I mean, they just need to. What Valido needs to do is hold on to Divine Shield until very, very deep dampening. When dampening is that high, target Born Good, target acquired, run at him until he dies. Use Divine Shield to stay on him and kill him and put him down. So Valido should play it patient right now and try and hold on to Divine Shield so he has that safety net to get aggressive. If they don't have a defensive cooldown to trade to go aggressive, then Valido will die. So he has to save it when he gets it and go all in. And if they don't do it, they're just stalling the match to inevitably lose. Yeah, they're just playing to live, not playing to win, like you said, and I think Born Good is a great target for them to go after, especially with that Retribution Paladin, its dampening gets higher and higher. Holy Paladins basically can't heal through the damage without their wings unless, you know, Boom Surge is throwing in an insane amount of off heals that Metaphors could be there for Wind Shears or Pack Rats could Cyclone, so we Born Good in a situation where he's all by himself, especially later on in dampening, could be so scary. All right, nice dodge of the Repentance Pack Rat, shape-shifting out of Munkin to travel to avoid Repentance and then cloning Born Good. That was a nice place from Pack Rat. That's setting up a ton of damage on Boom Surge. This is a great point in the game with Dampening just starting to proc that Absorb and start whittling down the cooldowns. Yeah, Boom Surge is going to be retreating though, allowing Born Good to top him off with some Holy Lights. Valido now caught at the stun, interrupt on Metaphors. Good burst damage on Valido as he retreats. You can see he got Thorns, I believe, there by Pack Rats as well. Just to really punish uh, Boom Surge from attacking him. Big swap over on the Pack Rats, big bite onto him as well as he gets lower. Metaphors just so far away though, he's able to just free cast these heals, top off his team. Pack Rat though, still a little bit low. The Healing Life Strip from Metaphors should be able to top him off, but the full bash now. Sanctuary going to be used by Valido to remove that stun on Metaphor, freeing him up once again. Nice job by SSDS, baiting out the grounding totem with the slowing trap and then securing a full freezing trap. They're going to get Bark Skin from Pack Rats. Good cross crowd control from the Super Wells. They're actually going after the Boomkin with Repentance on Valido, which is amazing. They take all of the instant healing out of the game with that. Now they left this as a surprise and dampening. They were attacking Valido whoa, whoa, all game, whoa, whoa. and now they've switched up their strategy and KS aren't ready. Yep, the Boom Surge just has so much burst damage with that Ferocious Bite. At any moment, someone from Chaos could go down if they're just a little bit too low. It's similar to that Windwalker Monk Rising Sun Kick. you got to be very scared because, like I said, at any moment, 40% to zero. So Chaos has to be ready for it. There's the meme over on a Metaphor stun on Packrats once again. Look at this Triple CC. That's what we're talking about. Lido has to trick it out. Packrats getting lower. Still has a Renewal. Not using it just yet. Finally using it, but really not doing too much healing. There's the Bash. Lido has to Yikes. try to keep him alive with that Blessing of Protection. There it is. Spear Link Totem overlap with the Blessing Protection. Huge victory for Super Whales. Yeah, and I mean, the Super Whales have a strat to win now. They just switch targets, put the Repentance on a different person, and suddenly they forced every cooldown in one Freezing Trap. So, and Dampening is assisting the healing reduction, and they save this strategy until Deep Dampening. Chaos weren't ready for it. They're blowing through the, all their defense, and we see the double crowd control again. Pack Rats on the run. SSDS all over. They could easily close the game if they're not careful. One Ferocious Bite could just take his life. Pack Rat hangs on. The trap is now over. Metaphor's playing it patiently and holding on to cooldowns. They need to find a way to push them over, though. They're, st they're staying alive, but they're not doing anything offensively, and they're just inevitably going to lose in this position. We see the Basilisk is chasing down Pack Rat. Born good looking for cheeky repentances as well. And with this Earthen Shield totem fading, no bark skin, no support from Valido. Nice interrupt there on Metaphors. They need to follow up. Boom Surge is going to jump over. SSDS nails the trap. They trick it out for the kill. Where's the Repentance? Born Good is going to land it. Everybody in crowd control. Metaphors trinkets out and dispels, realizing that situation could easily close the match. Now they survive. Now they need to push. Where's the push? Yeah, there is no push. They're just not getting aggressive whatsoever. Super Whales, they are so happy. They just wait for Trap DR, push in, get a cool down, then run away. And Valido, Pack Rats, Metaphors really not putting any offensive pressure out. Pack Rats finally going to be charging in a little bit. Born Good just so far away, though, actually looking for a drink. Opting now to get a little bit aggressive. You can see Metaphors already used the trinket. Pack Rats taking a lot of burst damage once again by Boom Surge. Activates the Bark Skin. There's the full trap on Metaphors. Repentance on Valido. Pack Rats all by himself. Valido has to bubble out to cast out some heals just to buy a little bit more time. SSDS can see offensive bop there by Born Good to seal out this game. Packrat manages to survive the few, last few moments. Metaphor is going to be throwing out some heals as well, but he gets interrupted there. Hodge on Born Good. Oh. Still no damage for KS. They're just on the back foot this entire game. Okay, Valido has finally found Born Good.
good, and he's attacking him. They survived the freezing trap. They need to get a kill in this downtime, but actually gets a repentance off the DR. Snuck that one in. Now they trap up Belito. They're mixing it up and keeping Chaos on their toes. There's almost nothing left. Packard simply solo with Dampany ramping up. Belito manages to keep him alive. While Metaphors was crowd control, but Belito's out of mana. He can't really heal anymore. Packard is dipping lower and lower. Will he be able to recover? Looking for Cyclones. Manages to find one. Spamming out regrowth. That triple healer, the ferocious might though, almost managed to take him out. Packard survives. Now it's time to get aggressive, find a target, push in. The only thing is, is that they burn through all their defense. They've got no safety net to fall back on if they make a push. And at this point, they've stalled the game out for absolutely no benefit. Yeah, Packrats has just been in bear form the last couple of minutes of this game, having to run away. and just speaks volumes to how much damage and how much CC Super Wells has really been putting out. Once again, Barskin going to be activated. Metaphor managed to sit by that or through that full trap. But in the meantime, Packrats has basically done no damage. Look at him. He's just sitting in bear form. Boom Surge all over him right now. Belito spamming out the heels and all the pressures in favor of Super Whales. Hammer of Justice on Belito. Interrupt on Metaphors. Pack Rat could go down and ultimately does. Super Whales up 2-1 to one in this series. You can see Metaphor has 100% mana, but actually just can't get the heels out that he needs. You know, a kind of can get some serious work done, but Maldiva going to be the first Affliction Warlock that we have seen in BFA. Is it going to be enough to tie up the series, or will Super Whales be able to just focus him down? All right, you can tell Super Whales are not afraid of this composition. They're just going to run on top of Maldiva right away, forcing Sacrificial Pact to absorb. This is going to be the most amount of shields ever on a class. They've got Repentance still. They're still focusing on locking two members down. Maldiva's going to gate away while his team is crowd-controlled and lying in sight the incoming damage, but they're in hot pursuit. Well, he was trying to get away. That hiding was perfect. He got right back in line of sight. Oh, Metaphor's gating out of line of sight for a second. That procs his tank trinket immediately early on. That's devastating for Maldiva. He's falling incredibly far behind. The Spirit Link talent on two squishy classes is making it difficult for Metaphor's to heal. He's actually even just using Chain Heal spec to try and get his whole team back topped off. That's going to cost a lot of mana. We see a Cyclone on board. Good. Good timing. SSDS running the Feign Death Honor talent. So every time he Feign Deaths, he dispels all dots off himself and takes a significant reduced amount of damage. Really good talent from SSDS against a Warlock. Yeah, Born Good getting me activating that Avenging Crusader to do additional damage and heal up his team every time he does damage. Maldiva getting lower and lower right now. Born Good putting out huge pressure on that Holy Paladin. Super Wells is playing in sort of all in right now. And he's putting a lot of pressure on KS. Maldiva's getting interrupted over and over and over. You can see Metaphor's man actually being a little bit more taxed. It's relatively even in this matchup that we haven't really seen in the past. I mean, both teams are playing all-in strategies. It's just going to be a dog pile of six players on top of each other looking to fake cast interrupts and get crowd control. Right now, Born Good is getting shut down. That was great place by KS. Now his entire team is going to start to rot. He does not have the Avenging Crusader for another minute and 20. They need to start running away. They're trying to duck for cover, but with the Spearling talent, it seems like KS are unafraid to just chase them down, keep their dots rolling. Yeah, Maldiva, Packrat moving in, trying to get those dots out, trying to keep the pressure up. Born Good doing the best he can to dispel. Move the dots from his team. They're trying to look for some crowd control here on the Metaphors. There's the full name once again. Maldiva, the target of choice. Full trap on Metaphors. He doesn't have, or he actually does have the trinket available. Repentance going to be overlapped there with that trap just a little bit on Metaphors. Cyclone now on Born Good. SSDS rotting down lower and lower. Packrat's putting out a lot of pressure. Boom Surge doing the best he can with off fields. You can see Boom Surge making sure he's out of line of sight, dispelling the agony off himself, keeping himself topped off just to allow Born Good a little bit more breathing room. All right, mana in favor of Born Good as both teams are playing all in strategy. There's the Basilisk. Are they going to gate across the map and kite it, or are they just going to tank it? There's no way they can. Maldiva gates across. Manaforce follows suits. That's good. They avoid that big Basilisk. Packrat's pulling back as well. We see a full freezing trap secured, but Preemptive Earthen Shield Totem is going to allow this to soak up a lot of incoming damage. Despite that, his entire team is still just rotting down. I can't tell which team is the dot cleave between <laughs> KS all at 50%. Super Whale's almost completely topped off. And I don't think this composition switch is going to work out for them. I think Maldiva's actually playing the Imp as well, so he can dispel metaphors out of those traps and allow him to just get out as much healing as possible because he needs it. So you can see everyone rotting down. But Metaphor still has the Ascendance. They need to shut down the Ascendance of Metaphors. That's a cooldown that's going to allow him to top off his entire team. If they can crowd control him through that, it's going to be really strong and make it difficult for him to top off everybody. Oh, nice counter shot on Metaphors. Maldiva going for a Shadow Fury. Lands it on the Boom Surge. SSDS moved out and dodged it. Good positioning. Ascendance whoa, gets whoa, whoa. popped. He's dipping dangerously low. Metaphors connects big heals and manages to save him. Mana basically tied. Uh, but as soon as he's out of mana, he can't reapply.
apply Spirit Link, and that Warlock without Spirit Link is basically made out of paper, so I don't think he's going to be able to survive too long, whereas Born Good, on the other hand, has Ultimate Sacrifice, which completely immunes damage, and those cooldowns are going to be way more powerful even when he runs out of mana. Nice eat on the trap there by Maldiva. That could give them an opening here to get aggressive. Packrat's going to pop Celestial Alignment with this opening. The entire team finally starting to rot down. This is the trigger being pulled by Maldiva. Can he get the huge Death Bolt off? He's going for a lot of Unstable Afflictions right now, building up to go for the Death Bolt. Drops the Dark Glare, refreshes his dots. He's ready to go, but not using it. He's holding on to it for a very long time. It's kind of peculiar. He's trying to... Oh, he waited for the Tank Trinket. Now that that Absorb is out of the way, Maldiva's got an opening. Yeah, Maldiva not afraid to charge in with that Spirit Link Talent. Name Trap over on Metaphor. Down Maldiva could be in some trouble. Metaphor gets dispelled out of that, though. Boomster rotting down. SSTS is rotting down as well. Vengeance Crusader not up for quite some time for Born Good, but he did manage to basically top off his team. Packrats needs to make sure he's pressuring down Born Good in this matchup, forcing him to line of sight, not get as aggressive. You can see there, SSDS getting that Blessing of Protection from Born Good to free him up from that bash, so he can continue his pressure. There's a bash on Meta. Oh! Oh, Maldiva, there is that big bite from Boom Surge that we're talking about. And I don't think Metaphors yeah. was able to refresh the Spirit Link. Well, actually, towards the end of that game, because Spirit Link costs so much uh, mana now, that feed versus the fake Zebras were all tied up. One and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in Battle for Azeroth.